We're doing a video on the GameCube! You know what that means! Hey guys, welcome back to the Dene's Dungeon, where we make fun of Donkey Konga despite only playing, have played it once. Right? You never played it. I played it once. Where? In my butt. So, today we are going to be going over an underrated console that I have like 8 games for. Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 games, same number, whatever. The GameCube, yay! yay! This is where many franchises came to be. Like Pikmin, Lego Star Wars, Animal Crossing, and Luigi's Mansion. Animal Crossing? Yeah, first one was on GameCube. When is that? I never saw the original one. So, let's talk about some GameCube! look so cute in cheesy form. <laughs> Actually, speaking of Animal Crossing, this is in no particular order, unlike the other one. I haven't sorted these at all, because I got most of these at the same time. Animal Crossing! I mean, welcome to Animal Crossing, and population growing. Only Isabel has the 40 to say that. She hasn't, in, she hasn't in any games except for a new leaf. And... Happy Home no, Designer no, no. and Amiibo and Festival! <laughs> Right up, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Right up there with New Leaf and Pokemon. Pokemon being guarded by by Sheik. Animal Crossing Population Growing, or just Animal Crossing, is a really fun game. Which is very different. It seems more streamlined than the others. Like, it's more of like an experience and less of a hold your hand, let's make the best town ever. It's more of like living your life. You don't have much control over this town. It's beautiful. They all live together! And they all eat each other! They Yum! All together and it's really so they all stop being their <laughs> Yeah, it made an amazing franchise. Actually, not- I, I don't know if I can call Animal Crossing an amazing, amazing franchise. It's only had two good games. Amazing franchise? What did you say? You're saying it's not an amazing franchise? Well, have you seen City Folk? Aku! <laughs> The next game is Lego Star Wars the video game. Is it literally just called the video game? Yeah. Oh my god. I got I, I was trying to sell this one actually for three dollars. Until I real your first games? No, that's Lego Star Wars Complete Saga on the Wii. This is half of that game and I and you already know my opinion on that game from the last video, the Wii game video. So screw this game. What did it ever do oh, for okay. me? Yeah, I haven't even uploaded those yet. Well, I'm going I'm going to upload them in the order that I make them. Next is Rampage Total Destruction. You break stuff. Next game. I love that game. This game. Give me my baby. <laughs> <laughs> this 
<laughs> Next is Metroid Prime. This game is really rare. You shoot stuff. Next game. This next game is Pikmin 2. You use ants to kill stuff. Next game. <laughs> next game. Oh wow, a game I'll actually talk about because I've played more than once. Wow, it's kind of like I don't want to do a video on GameCube games. Monkey Ball! Super Monkey Ball is the most baller game of all time. You play as monkeys in pre-death Sega. Ball. This game is actually really good. It's so fun, they use the C-Stick really well. The minigames are a blast. Anyone can play, it's just so fun. Monkey Fight sucks though. Monkey Target, Monkey Race, and Monkey... What was it called? Monkey something are really good. The bumpy good. things are the best part of The it. bumpy thingies in the racing game are classic from Dedenne Dungeoneers. This is just an overall amazing game, and anyone should pick it up or the sequel. But the third one ruined everything by getting rid of my my precious bumpy thingies. Next is Luigi's Mansion. The sequel is better. That's all I have to say about that game. See, I've talked about half these games in more in depth compared to sequels. Next is another game I'll actually talk about: Mario Party Seven. This is by far my favorite Mario Party game. game me and Alice play this game all the time. Louis while Luigi's like All the boards in this game are really memorable. I love the items. The boards are really fun too. Yeah. The DS one's also really good, but Alice lost that game. Piece of trash. In our Oh. Summer home, I lost that. I want to see it again. Oh. Unless I buy it again, which I might. I'm gonna buy that game again eventually. <laughs> Mario Party Seven, best Mario Party game. Mario Party Eight sucked. Mario Party Nine, Ten, Sorry. or not good. Hey, oh, it's in my head. Hey, you used Precious Amiibo in it. Yeah, I, I mean, putting Amiibo on the gamepad is such an innovative feature. It just warms my heart by how every single crappy oh. party game with a Wii U does that. Actually, Mario Wii Party U is actually a pretty decent game uh, from what I've heard, but no one talks about it. Hey, we should get that. Because <laughs> it comes with a Miimote. Next is a game I've played like five times. Crash Bandicoot. The Wrath of Full Cortex. In this game, you play as a bandicoot and you go around and break crates like Santa the Hedgehog with a bandicoot. No. Why would you ever think that? I got this from a yard sale. Mm. No wonder has cheating. Oh my god, look! It's the rigging manual! There's nothing on it! This game is so cool! My rarity in Crystal Room Mini Doll is so baller. Just like Mario Super Monkey Ball! Next Mario Super Monkey Ball. A sequel Ball. to a game where you shoot stuff. That's all I have to say about that. What game. is it? Oh. <laughs> I'm to. Next, we have a game where you listen to the main theme song and then you finish the game. What is it? Open up your heart. It's gonna be alright. It totally made no sense to me when we played it. Yeah, it's dumb. I'll play it again someday and be like, oh my god, this game touches me on an emotional level. It's so good. Is your suit in it? No. They hate it. Actually, it might be. I don't know. Next is Super Smash Brr, Super, Brr. Super Mash Brothers Melee. Oh, it has a way better, <coughs> better, 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 better art. Nope, the N64 version, in my opinion, is way better, because the characters in the end of this game are, like, 90% crap. I mean, when you advertise the Ice Climbers in the box, there's something wrong with your game. Hey, Joshy likes ice climbers. Well, Joshy's lame. Oh, yes, you like them. I don't care. This game added some pretty cool stages, like Onet. Yeah, to add on that. In Wobbuffet. It's Pokemon! This game came out three years after the first one. There, it's a pretty fun game. I would recommend it to anyone that doesn't own a Wii or Wii U. Losers. Where's the last game? Oh, yeah, I already talked about it. Say okay! That's my GameCube collection! Really short video, guys. Thank you for watching. I did not like the GameCube that much. Not much to talk about. Few very fun games on it though. Those games I play time and time again. In my opinion. Hey, look, it's a fake Pikachu.
Best console for innovation, worst console for games. So the reverse Wii. He returned. Oh yeah, I'm getting it, George! He's gonna play Donkey Kong! <laughs> Wait, where'd my copy of Donkey Kong go? Well, it probably is throw in the box. The season finale! And the final Gekko game! Is it's Donkey Konga. And to end off this video, I'm going to get my Donkey Kong amiibo. This is me doing the thumbs up. Nice. Here we go! On a rendition of mashing the bongos. Oh, we can turn it on. I'll be back in five seconds. I'm gonna do this for another minute. Follow me on Twitter. It's the end of the video. Don't watch any longer. It's stupid. Other hand. By the way, guys, I can fix Dylan's Johnny test figure, but he won't allow me to see because he wants free stuff. You're almost running out of footage time, Dylan. It's more to do until he runs out. Bye, guys. See you in 10 seconds because Dylan's gonna run out of footage. Seven, eight, 